Refrigerators on boats don't self defrost. So every three or four months, we have to defrost our refrigerator because we use it full time. Every time we open the door, we let humidity in, which frosts over. Um, not a big problem, except that that means every three or four months, you've got to eat everything in the refrigerator because it's going to be turned off and open for hours while those big chunks of ice defrost. Um, that's somewhat been a problem. So Marie found this cooler online and ordered it in and it's electric. Um, you can set the temperature to either be a refrigerator or a freezer, whatever you need. And so she bought that so that instead of trying to eat everything up, we can just you know, eat it to a low percentage and then put the rest of the food in this cooler and not have to worry while the refrigerator is defrosting. So pretty cool idea. And we figured in between times, um, we'd use it as a, a soda cooler up on the flybridge. So we have cold drinks um, and, and also we can use it for uh, spare stuff that we don't have room for in the refrigerator in between times. So all in all, it's a pretty good buy and uh, Marie got it. Problem is, I don't have any electricity up on the flybridge when we're underway, at least not AC electricity. Now, we do have a plug up here, but it only works when we're plugged into the dock where the generator is running. So I've got to rectify that situation. I went to uh, West Marine and I found this, um, I'm not sure exactly what you call it. It's like um, a cigarette lighter on a car, um, but you know you can plug that kind of stuff into it. So I'm going to install that, and the refrigerator came with a cigarette lighter type receptacle. You have your choice, either just a regular plug to go into a wall or a cigarette plug uh, if you're using it in an automobile. And so I'm gonna install this up on the flybridge and we'll be able to plug it in and it'll run off our batteries when we're not plugged into the dock. got it uh, installed and now we're gonna plug it in see if it works I heard a beep we have power so she's up and running even when we're on the hook awesome we're on st. Catharines Island this is a uninhabited island. It's a pretty big island, but nobody lives here. It's just a nature preserve. It's pretty cool. It's a really pretty island. We've been anchored here for about a week. The island is restricted. You're allowed to come to the beach, but you can't leave the beach and go inland. It's got a, a decent beach. The One of the best things about the beach is uh, it's loaded with uh, hermit crabs. <laughs> Just tons of hermit crabs everywhere. Some of them are in some really pretty shells. And uh, so it's kind of cool to watch them. The, uh, about a month ago, a lightning bolt uh, struck here and started a fire on the island. It got to be a pretty big fire. You can see some of the damage here and it appears to be mostly on the end of the island where this beach is at. But uh, I'm sure it'll grow back and be luscious and green pretty soon. Oh my love You're such a fragile thing I know 
And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here at all And oh my love Don't worry about the cold just yet The trees haven't started to shed Just feel the summer sun As it warms our bed I'm lying And I'm lying When I say We've been anchored here off St. Catharines Island for about a week and we've really been enjoying the peace and quiet, getting work done on the boat. We go over to the beach every now and then and chill out and uh, it's a great little place. St. Catharines Island is one of only two places in the world where lemurs run free. They are originally from Madagascar, the only other place they exist. <clears throat> but uh, as part of an experiment and also to um, help save the species as most lemurs are endangered. Uh, years ago, they brought some colonies, actually they're not called colonies, with lemurs, a group of lemurs is called a conspiracy. Hmm. But they brought some over here and they let them go and they've been thriving here on St. Catharines Island now we've kept an eye out, but we haven't seen a single one the whole week we've been here. But if you listen very carefully, you can hear them. Unfortunately, we're having to leave a day early. We were going to stay here one more day, but the heat wave that's gripping the entire world right now is also hitting St. Catharines Island, and the highs every day have been in the 90s. The lows only go into the 80s, and uh, as a consequence, we've had to run our air conditioners a little more than we normally do, and that means fuel to run the generator, and we're out. So. We've got to get underway today to go find a marina so we can fill up our fuel tank that runs our generator and uh, then we'll continue on. <laughs> 